Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to this Pistons My League. Now, later on today, I will be uploading um, an Apex Legends video. Yeah, it's going to be uploaded today instead of Wednesday. That's why I'm bringing you a Pistons video because it's easier to record and edit. And tomorrow you'll see Gerald, don't worry. But up on the screen now is everyone that responded in the comment section of last video saying Giannis is a goat, which is the phrase. That and Tyler Hero is a bucket or Tyler is a bucket, one or the other. That was the phrase. I say if you made it that part of the video, there's a lot of people in the premiere. So everyone who's in the premiere, I appreciate you. But yes, like you just saw up on the screen, those are all the people that um, commented Giannis is a god. So be sure later on in this video, you guys stay tuned and comment down below whatever the phrase is. And you may be in the next video. But nonetheless, let's get into it. If you guys are new here, about 85% of you, I think, aren't subscribed. So, I mean, just just help yourself and help me and subscribe. We're on the road to 600 subs, very close to being there. So, last time we left off with this Pistons Mighty League, we made a lot of trades. Right now, we're at the trade deadline, but... Ooh, we made a lot of trades. Let's just go straight to the Pistons. Uh, we made a trade for Mike Conley. We traded Isaiah Thomas for Mike Conley to get defense because we were the worst defensive team in the league. Now, our second trade was actually the biggest trade of this series, possibly. We traded Nerves Noel in a second round pick for 35, 37-year-old Chris Paul. Now, it doesn't sound like a good trade. He's an 84 overall. But that trade boosted, boosted us up into the playoffs. As a, I think we're a top 5 seed now in the East. As you see, we're 30 and 23. We were ass. We were actually very, very bad. So this trade right here just boosted us up. Chris Paul is just a player that helps teams win. And then we traded Luke Kennard, two first-round picks for Derek Favors in the Pacers' 2023 first-round pick, which is next season's first-round pick because the Pacers are very bad. They are the worst team in the league. They have, like, no future. So, yeah, it's not looking good for the Pacers. So we have their pick next year. Right now, we are sitting at fourth in the East, half a game behind Miami, surprisingly, who are starting a 61 overall point guard. And yeah, we're at the trade deadline. I don't think there's any more trades I'm going to make. This is what the starting lineup's going to be. Christian Wood was someone I wanted. To, I was thinking about trading. But his defense has just been superb, so I'm not going to trade him. And he's also injured, so I wouldn't be able to. Um, Josh Richardson's been having a great seat. Let's just look at the stats, and then we'll sim. Um, right now, Wiseman's having a career year. He's averaging 20 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Um, a steal and a block. I need to add their cyber faces. Um, Cade Cunningham's averaging 16. Um, there's a fly in my room. I thought I killed that. 16 and 6. I We traded for him on draft night, I believe. Jay Rich is averaging 15. Um, second most of his career. Chris Paul is averaging 15 and 8 with 5 rebounds. Scotty Lewis off the bench, 12. Team's doing very, very good. So, I don't see us making any trades. I gotta kill that bug. All right, uh, I, don't, I guess we'll sit to the end of the season, and next episode will be the playoffs. So, um, I don't care, I don't care, nope. Actually, I should probably check contract extensions. Um, contract extensions, no one's gonna re- What do you mean you won't resign? Oh, Seku was the player I was supposed to trade. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I ain't paying him 26 mil. All right, well, whatever. We'll get him on the freaking restricted option or whatever, and then we'll trade. We've just lost three games in a row. Oh boy, we beat the Bucks though. Beat the Jazz, leave rotation as is. This team's a playoff team. This team is 100% a playoff team. I think this will be our first year in the playoffs. Will we win 50 games? Hell no. Will we win at least 45? Definitely, I think we will. Scotty Lewis, you're fine. If they're, if it says, see, if I can leave the rotation as is, I don't bench him. 37 and 30, we lose to a, a good Nets team by only one. Um... James Wiseman's also hurt by his day to day. Um, wow, we destroyed the Rockets. We actually destroyed them. Uh, I was about to say we could win 50 games, but not anymore. You beat the Heat. Chris Paul's injured. All right, here's the good time. All right, if you made it to this part of the video, be sure to comment. Injuries suck. Yep, injuries suck. We um, go 40 and 34, which is a special record in my heart because that 2016 Heat team led by D Wade and Chris Bosh, who didn't play. They went 48 and 34 and were one game away from the conference finals. Enough about that. Giannis wins MVP, 33 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists. He's probably going to win Defensive Player of the Year. Jalen Green, Rookie of the Year. Bull Bull, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, yep, Defensive Player of the Year. Harry Giles, Most Improved. 
and Mike Budenholzer, coach of the year. I don't think we'll get anyone on an all NBA team to be. Yep. No, no, we get James Wiseman. Oh, he actually went down in points. His stats went down, but we do get him on an all NBA team. There we go. That's what you like to see. All defensive team. Uh, I'm not really expecting anyone, but Chris Paul, but I guess he's not there. Our rookie first team, we do get Cade Cunningham. And the 62 overall made it. Okay. We are the fifth seed going up against the boss itself. Wow. How is this team a fourth seed? How is this team a fourth? Uh, we might get bounced in the first round. We're probably going to get bounced in the first round. They were one game better than us. We were only two games away from the second seed. Just saying. Um, player stats, we will look at... James Wiseman's average 19. Cade Cunningham went up to 17. Chris Paul, who was injured, got 15. 8 assists. Wow, that's a lot. Jay Rich went down a lot in points. Oh, boy. 14 points a game. A steal, almost a block. He is a free agent. He shot very well in the season. But is it worth bringing him back? I don't know. He is 28. Scotty Lewis, 12. Because we have Scotty Lewis right behind him, who's 5 years younger. Five years younger. It has way more potential. Christian Wood actually turned it up in the second half of the season. Isaac Okoro. Team's just very, very nice um, rotation-wise. I don't know. I guess I'm going to keep the rotation as is. I'm not sure about Derek Favors. He's having seven and six. Um, Seku. Honestly, I don't see you in our rotation for the playoffs. I don't. He's just not good enough. We're going to run nine-man rotation. We want to get our starters as much as possible. We're going to have Chris Paul, 36. Kate Cunningham, 36. 36. Christian Wood, that. We're going to get 33 to him. And Mike Conley will get 13, I guess. All right, Boston. Let's see what we can do here. Simulate round. Oh, my God. No, don't blow through one lead. We blew a 3-1 lead. I tried to stop the simulation. We blew a 3-1 lead. We were actually up 3-1 on this team, and we got demolished. Game 1, we won by 3, thanks to Jay Rich. Game 2, we won by 11, thanks to Wiseman and Cade Cunningham. Game 3, we lost by, oh my god, 32. We lost by 32 points, and Chris Paul balled out. Game 4, we won by a lot, thanks to James Wiseman. Jay Rich, I'm seeing you down there. It's not looking good. Oh, boy. And then we lost by 30. Dope. Dope. Then we lost by 13. Even, even more dope. Jay Rich is doing good in the bad games. And then we lost by 47. 47. We lost by 47. Okay. I went to seven games, had a 3-1 lead, and we ruined it. Player stats. Oh, no one did good. Oh, my God. Christian Wood is the only player that played good. Everyone else played terrible. Oh, man. James Wiseman was not ready for the playoffs. He didn't even hit a three. Wow, our team just was... Christian Wood was the only one that was ready for the playoffs, apparently. Wow. 33%. 40... Chris Paul, I expected a lot more out of you. I expected so much more out of you in these playoffs. Jay Rich, 38%. 37, 37, 41, 40... Wow, yeah. Wow, that did not go as planned. All right. Well, we lose in game seven, had a 3-1 lead. Sixers won the championship. Damn, that's just sad. Um, retirements, no one, two, you know, big. Staff retirements, once again, no one big. Uh, I'm going to reject everything. Can I reject? Everything's getting rejected. League Real Island, no. Draft lottery, I don't think we're even in it. Nope. Nope. I tried getting that Pacers pick. It fell to five. So F you, Indiana. If you saw the last episode of this, my league, you would know Indiana was being stingy. Do I fire Dwayne Casey? Do I fire Dwayne Casey? I think it might be time because I see Nick Nurse. It's so messed up, bro. We're going to fire Dwayne Casey to hire Nick Nurse just like the Raptors did. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I about to do that? I can always resign him. I can't, yeah, That was a dumb thing to do because he doesn't even want to... We don't even have enough money for him. Scott Brooks? Not really. Nate McMillan. I actually might go after Nate McMillan. He's a really good coach. I don't know why. Doc Rivers. Don't have enough money for him. Do we? Can we see what system fits us best? 
Nope, we have to fill our coaching slot. That's stupid. Um, I think I'm going to go after Nate McMillan. I think Nate McMillan is our guy, and we're going to sign him. Now let me see what coaching... Oh, I know. I went to the wrong thing. Grit and grind is his... It... Okay, it works. I mean, it works. So we don't... I don't think need anything from the NBA draft. We don't really have a pick. Um, Seku is a free agent, though. I believe. So I don't think I can even trade him. All right, I'm going to be trading Derek Favors for Jalil Okafor. Why? Why not? We don't have a pick. We're not going to have a pick. So rookie signings, nothing. Team player options. I am bringing back everyone. And Seku is going to get traded. Seku Dumbia will get traded. I don't want to bring any of you back, to be honest with you. And moratorium. Will we splash? This is supposed to be realistic. We have $25 million. This could be a big splash, honestly. What is our most needed position? Point guard set. Cade Cunningham, we played at shooting guard last season. So, yeah, point guard set. Um, I should probably make him a shooting guard since he played it. So, we'll yep, move him to shooting guard. Um, point guard set. Shooting guard's definitely set. Small forward, I don't know. Power forward is not set. We could use a power forward. So, let's see what we got here. For a power forward, Jaron Jackson won't have... Blake Griffin... Seven, he didn't have a great season, but we could give him a chance. Maybe on like a one-year deal. That's not bad. Give Blake Griffin a chance on a one-year deal. I'm going to offer him a contract to come back to Detroit. Is that realistic? Offer him to come back? I don't think so, honestly. The last year he was here, he was terrible. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I sign like a small forward and trade Seku for... Oh, what you call it? Power forward. There's not really any small forwards here, though. This free agency isn't that good, to be honest. Kyrie's here. He's gonna go back to Brooklyn now. Kemba's here. He has no offers. Kemba Walker doesn't have any offers, dude. That might be. Lonzo's unrestricted. If he's unrestricted, I'm going after him. Twenty-three mil. Ooh. Does he have any offers? Lonzo, he doesn't have any offers. He's, it said he was expecting 19 mil. Why does he want 23? I'll give you 20 mil. 20 mil, two-year team op. Actually, no. Let, let's, let's try and lock him up. Dude, if we can get Lonzo, that would be a big pickup if we can pick up Lonzo. Kemba, I'm not going to offer a contract to. Um, I'm going to offer Blake. But I don't think I'm going to sign him up. Nope. He wants third. Nope. We get... Oh, my God. We're actually about to get Lonzo. <laughs> we're actually about to get Lonzo. Wow. We're going to add Lonzo Ball to this already young core. Now, that means Chris Paul's expendable. No one wants him. <laughs> no one wants Chris Paul. All right. So, um, Chris Paul has literally no trade value. Maybe because he's a 37-year-old making 27 mil. So, we're going to trade him to Utah, who need a point guard. They don't have a point guard. They have Devin Dodgson. We're going to trade him to Utah for a second-round pick. We might have to attach something. We'll, we'll, we'll attach two second-round picks. How is, this, how is this pick a valuable asset? I just want to get rid of Chris Paul. There we go. Okay, we got rid of Chris Paul's contract. That actually opens up way more cap space. A lot more cap space, and we still have Seku to trade. Because we did pick up Lonzo. So, you know, Cade Cunningham is shooting guard. We got Lonzo already to run our point guard position. Cade Cunningham and Scotty Lewis. I'm still, I still don't know about Jay Rich. We'll let him play next season, see how he does. Seku, we're just looking for a power forward. Christian Wood might be the starter next season because he did really good, honestly, in that second half. So, I think I'm still going to keep him. But at this point, I, I really don't know. We're going to look for trade to say coup. Listen, if we want to win now, Paul George might be our guy. The Clippers have underperformed massively. They have three centers on the roster. I don't think giving up Marcus Morris is a you know smart idea for them. I think giving up a center would be smarter. Who? I don't know. Um, I'm guessing maybe Enos Kanter would make sense to give up. We are giving up this, you know, Indiana pick. 
Is this worth it? I don't know. Right now we have Jay Rich at small forward. Yes, I would move him to small forward. We want to win now. I think I'm going to do it. They get a young player. Paul George is on the decline. He's already 32. He had one of his, you know, not good seasons. Maybe he'll come and flourish in Detroit. And we just picked up Paul effing George to join the Detroit Pistons. Oh, boy. We're set, boys. We're set. Now, we don't have backup power forward at all now. Actually, Canada can run backup power forward. We have a lot of positions. Some players aren't even going to get minutes. Some players aren't even going to get minutes, but that's it. I do want to sim a couple days into free agency to see where, like, big players sign. So, day eight. We got Luka going back. Everyone goes back to their respective... No, Zach Levine back to the Timberwolves. Chicago wasn't working. And the Timberwolves were just in the finals. And they had Zach Levine. And Shea goes to the Bulls to replace Zach. Marvin Bagley to the Grizzlies. Valanchunas to the Hornets. Nurkic to the Knicks. TJ Warren... Jaron Jackson to the Nuggets, so Marvin Bagley will be replacing Jaron Jackson. Colin Sexton replaces Paul George in LA, which isn't bad. He's 23 year old with a lot of potential. Blake Griffin goes back to the Knicks. Jabari Parker goes back to the Bulls. Interesting. Now we did get better, I think. I think we got 100 percent better. Paul George does go down two overalls, though. Uh he did re-sign. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he re-signed on a big contract. So we're probably gonna have to. Let that, you know, go. But he is the bona fide number one option. We got Cade Cunningham, Scotty Lewis, um, James Wiseman, Josh Richardson. We have a lot of wing players. A lot, a lot of wing players. So this season is going to be very, very interesting. All right, here's the rotation. Lonzo Ball, Cade Cunningham, Paul George, Christian Wood, and James Wiseman. Then off the bench, we got Jay Rich, who will be playing a bit of backup point guard. I'm going to change his secondary position because it was... Originally backup point guard. Um, Scotty Lewis, Isaac Okoro, and Jalil Okafor. Mike Conley and Ines Kander will not be getting any minutes. So that is it. Assistant proficiency is the same. Yep, nothing's changing. It's looking good. On the fly lineups, we'll put Mr. Where's his name? I can't find him. Jay Rich got it. Yep, uh, not Christian Wood. Uh, I guess Ines Kander is technically the backup power forward. And power rankings wise, we are number 11 and then we're number 10 and i'm guessing number 11 yup so we're actually a very very good team sim the first game against pacers oh that's not good enough sample size luke Kennard's revenge game he dropped 28 on us um paul george ended up dropping 25 jay rich off the bench 20 if you can keep doing that jay rich you're gonna be wow we have a really easy schedule to start off we destroy the hornets paul george balled out lonzo with the triple double oh boy <laughs> Okay, Lonzo. Right now, Paul George playing like MVP form, but it was against two bad teams. We beat the Knicks, who are actually... Oh, they're 0-2. Cade Cunningham balled out. I don't want to see him too many games, but... I mean, I also want to because I want to see how good... This, this Knicks team's good. Why are they playing so... This Knicks team's good on paper. Pa why are we... Fa we have such an easy... Sk we lose to the Pacers by one. Ooh. Ooh, Paul George balled the hell not out. Brogdon balled out, and Luke Kennard didn't. Last game, we'll sim against the Sixers, and we win by 10. This team is the reigning champions, and we beat them by double digits. Cade Cunningham, Paul George, James Wiseman. That big three is going to be something now. So far, our leading scorers for this season. Cade Cunningham, 22 points, 5 rebounds, and 8 assists. Paul George is averaging 21. Um, not even a steal. James Wiseman is averaging 15 and 11 with 2 blocks. Um, Jay Rich is shooting actually 14 and 3. A steal and a block and a half shooting really good. If you can do this off the bench, Jay Rich, no problem keeping you on this team. Um, Christian Wood, 12 points, 8 rebounds, a block and a steal like he's been doing. Lonzo, 8, 8, and 14 with 2 steals. Lonzo, you may be shooting like ass, but you're not here to score. You're here to play, make, and get just play defense. Wow. Okay, that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.